Ontario has recently reported its first human rabies case in nearly six decades, marking a rare but concerning development. The Bryant County Health Unit, located west of Hamilton, confirmed the case, which is believed to have been caused by exposure to a bat. The infected individual is currently hospitalized, and local health officials are working diligently to manage the situation. This case is not only the first in Ontario since 1967, but it's also part of a remarkably low number of human rabies cases across Canada, with only 26 reported nationwide since 1924. Rabies is a viral infection that affects the brain and spinal cord, typically spread through the saliva or mucus of infected animals. In Ontario, bats, along with raccoons, skunks, and foxes, are known carriers of the virus. Even though human-to-human -human transmission of rabies has never been documented, direct contact with these animals can be fatal if not treated promptly. This incident serves as a stark reminder of how crucial immediate medical care is following potential exposure to rabies. Dr. Rebecca Comley, Bryant County's Medical Officer of Health, extended her thoughts to the affected individual and their family, emphasizing that while rabies in humans is rare, it remains a severe and potentially deadly virus. She urged anyone who comes into contact with animals known to carry rabies to seek immediate medical attention. Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Kieran Moore, echoed these concerns, highlighting that while rabies in humans is extremely rare, swift post-exposure treatment is vital to preventing fatal outcomes. Post-exposure treatment involves thoroughly washing the exposed area with soap and water, followed by a series of rabies vaccines and a dose of rabies immune globulin. This treatment is nearly 100% effective if administered quickly. Although the government is withholding specific details about the case to protect the individual's privacy, the swift actions of health officials have been focused on assessing close contacts of the patient to offer them post-exposure treatment as a precaution. This case underlines the ongoing importance of rabies prevention measures. Vaccinating pets and livestock, avoiding contact with wild animals, and seeking medical advice immediately after any potential exposure are key steps in protecting against rabies. Although extremely rare, cases like this serve as reminders of the seriousness of the virus and the continued need for public health vigilance. Stay subscribed for more videos.